Yo, what's up, YouTube? Pedazzle 1010. I am about to show you an epic Monday mail day. Um, man, you know, I've been in some group breaks lately. Every single package just showed up t today. Um, I probably won't post this video till tomorrow, but um, all this mail came today, Monday. Um, this is great. What's that, Yogi? Yogi wants me to tell you that 90% of these packages are from group breaks and the other half are from trades. Thanks for that quote, Yogi. That was classic. Anyways, thanks for joining me, Reggie, Yogi, and Whitey. And uh, thanks to everybody for watching at home. Let's get to this mail. First, let me start with a trade I did. This user, Vamarasitube, or Vamarasitube, is a huge Devin Hester collector. If you guys have any Devin Hester stuff, jerseys, autos, anything really, um, he'll, he'll tell you if he has it or not. I sent him a list of a bunch of stuff I found. I found some jerseys and numbered cards and stuff, and he needed a lot of it, so we're sending that his way. And uh, what he sent my way, first let me read his little note. Uh, thank you so much for helping me out with my Devin Hester collection. Hope we can trade again. Happy holidays, Brandon Vamarasi and uh, one of one. Thanks a lot, man. The card he sent me, man, it looks good in person. Maurice Jones drew patch out of Trilogy. Nice four-color patch right there. There's actually a fifth break down here at the corner, but you can barely see it. Um, numbered uh, 29 out of 33. So YouTube viewers, I assure you there is at least one nice patch in this world that does not belong to Army ATC. I got it right here, people. So there it is. I got one. You guys, there is one out there that does not belong to Alex. All right, moving right along. Thanks a lot to Vomerosa, too. By the way, good trader. Thanks for getting it out here to me. Help him out if you have any Devin Hesters. Next, Miss Rifle Girl. I was in a break of hers. Um, 0708 basketball products. Thank you so much for the fast shipping. Sorry about your Panthers. Go Giants. Moving right along to the cards. I had the Spurs and the uh, Blazers. I got a Tim Duncan parallel to 249. Got a Tony Parker parallel to 75. And uh, for my Blazers, I actually hit a Greg Oden rookie to 999 out of elevation. So that pretty much made the break for me. That's really all I could have hoped for. I didn't get any jerseys or uh, autos, but rather get the main rookie than some uh, scrub autos. So that's pretty cool. Uh, moving right along, I was in a break with the Pack Ripper. Uh, this was a football break, and uh, I had the Saints and the Cardinals, I believe. Um, I remember hitting on one item, and that was actually all I got. So I didn't get shut out, but the only card I got was a uh, Deuce McAllister jersey out of Artifacts. So appreciate you getting in here real quick, and uh, thanks for the break, man. Um, thanks for not shutting me out. <laughs> uh, number to 250. Thanks a lot. Um, next, let's go to My Adept. My Adept had a football break of um, 08 products, new football products. And um, Steve, thanks a lot for getting the stuff out here real fast. I did re pretty good in this break. I had three teams. I think I had a fourth team. I don't remember what it was, but I know I hit on three teams. Um, thanks for getting in the group break. Hope you join my future breaks, my adept. I certainly will. Thanks a lot. Uh, I hit Bills. I hit um, Winning Materials rookie of uh, James Hardy, 10 out of 149. I hit Winning Materials rookie triple jersey out of 99 for Jonathan Stewart. Nice triple jersey rookie for Jonathan Stewart. And I hit a Malcolm Kelly auto redemption, the rookie jersey auto, number to 599. So I did pretty good there. Three hits out of those three teams. Um, moving right along to Jada Witt 9. Jada Witt 9, a uh, really cool YouTuber. Um, he is hosting a massive five case break of 06 National Treasures coming up at the end of January, early February. I think he said he only has two spots left in this thing. It's $145 a spot. I've got my spot reserved. Uh, go check them out. Get subscribed if you aren't already. Uh, any of these users I'm mentioning in this mail day video, you guys probably already know them, all these people. But if there's a chance you don't and you're subscribed to me already, you should be subscribed to all of these people also. Everybody I've already mentioned. So Jada went 9 and I worked out a really nice trade for some Giants and Yankees stuff that I wanted for my PC. Uh, thanks, Jada Witt 9 signed one of one. Thank you very much. And here we go with all the cards in the trade. I got a uh, Jeremy Shockey jersey out of uh, Certified Materials, number to 175. Another Jeremy Shockey in the Giants Uni uh, double jersey out of SPX. And that one, those aren't numbered. Uh, Aaron Ross auto out of uh, memorabilia, absolute. Um, rookie auto Aaron Ross. Rookie auto Aaron Ross, Topps Chrome Refractor. Uh, that one actually is numbered only 20 out of 50. 
real low numbering there. That's cool. Um, I really like these on-card autos, these Yankee uh, Signature Series cards. I didn't have any of these three, so um went ahead and got these from them. Thank you for sending these all in cases, by the way. Everything got here safe. Thank you very much, man. Uh, Johnny Callison, uh, Tommy Byrne, and Tom Carroll. What's that, Whitey? You pitch with these guys? Cool, man. That's that's awesome. Good deal. Thanks for letting me know. Uh, Jorge Posada back card refractor uh, out of uh, Bowman Sterling. That one's numbered only 199. More baseball. This was a team quads. He he gave me a list. I was I didn't know what this was gonna look like. I I don't remember these cards. I I never saw this before. But this is pretty cool. We got uh, two bats on the front. Robin Ventura, Wade Boggs. And on the back, we've got two more. We've got Paul O'Neill and Kenny Lofton, number to 100. So that's really cool. I, n I don't have that one. Um, these are a couple of the really nice cards in the trade. I got a Don Larson jersey out of uh, Legendary Cuts, numbered to only 99. Really love the old school Yankee jersey cards with the old wool. And you can see a little pinstripe down in the corner there. This was the main card I wanted. I do not have a Dave Rigetti Auto in my entire collection yet, so here we go. First one. Thank you so much, man. Uh, real nice triple jersey auto, Dave Rigetti. Absolute memorabilia. Just a beautiful card. Great shape. No, no condition issues at all. Number 32 out of 50, right there in the corner. Um, I was also in Jada Witt 9's group break uh, of 06 National Treasures that he just did. Not the five case one. This is a different one. And I had Packers, Bears, or excuse me, Packers, Cowboys. I can't remember the other teams, but I hit on my Packers and my Cowboys. I actually hit a Bart Starr triple jersey, number 29 out of 50. I hit a James Lofton Auto, numbered 49 out of 80. And uh, my favorite card, even though it's not an autograph, was a Roger Staubach. Uh, triple patch, all three patches, blue and white, with really nice breaks right down the middle. Um, and that one's low numbered, only 20 out of 25. So uh, that was a pretty cool car. Let me put that back in that sleeve so it doesn't get scratched up. Move those out of the way. And finally, the funniest part of this mail day. Um, these two packages have a bit of a story to them. First, the cardboard kid. And... Mr. Hobby 77. Uh, Mr. Hobby 77 and I were two people that were in the Cardboard Kids recent group breaks and, and a lot of other ones. You've, I'm sure you've seen both of these names. Um, I ended up getting the uh, Chiefs and the Dolphins in a break of Letterman football. And Mr. Hobby had the Giants, so I checked with him to see if he'd be willing to trade. And he did. So he took the Dolphins, I got my Giants. We were both really happy. And then the break happened, and something absolutely epic hit in that break. If you haven't seen it yet, go check out the Cardboard Kids video of the Letterman football. They hit a Dan Marino, number two out of four, manufactured patch Letterman auto. Two out of four autographed Dan Marino card goes to the Dolphins, Mr. Hobby. So we were joking around back and forth on messaging, and uh, he said he was going to send me something just for the heck of it, just for completing the trade. I got to tell you, man, I opened this earlier on camera, and then this video went too long. I'm so sorry, but my reaction was absolute shock when I opened this originally. I wish I could have posted that video for you, man. Thank you so much for sending this. You did not have to do it. Thank you very much. You, you told me it was for my PC, and man, this is awesome. So he wrote, what's up, P-Dazzle? Hope you enjoy the card. Tough break again with the trade. It is going in my PC, though, Mr. Hobby. Well, Mr. Hobby, this is going in my PC. Roger Maris, Topps Pristine Bat Card. Awesome, man. I mean, you didn't have to send me anything, and you sent me something this nice. Uh, I, obviously, I don't have this card yet. Um, thank you, man. I really appreciate it. You, you, just very nice of you. Very generous. Um, by the way, thank you for labeling it for me, um, just so I didn't screw it up during my video. Roger Maris Pat Card. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just playing with you. I have no idea why it's labeled. Maybe you uh, had it in a shop or something. But uh, thank you very much for the card, man. This this will stay with me forever. Finally, the results of the group break with the Cardboard Kid. Uh, in the Letterman football, like I said, I had Chiefs. I got a Jamal Charles rookie. I got a uh, Glenn Dorsey rookie. And I also hit on a Jamal Charles uh, manufactured patch rookie auto. And that one's actually numbered 79 out of 79. Go ahead and everybody say it at the same time. Ready? eBay one of one. Finally, I was in a cardboard kid break of rookie threads. I'm almost running out of time. I hit uh, Bears Earl Bennett numbered out of 250. Bears Matt Forte numbered out of 25. And Eagles, Deshaun Jackson, numbered out of 15. 
Thank you for watching. Reggie, Yogi, and Whitey say good night. Take care, YouTube.